Hey, I wanted to show you guys this tutorial I did on the Oz. Um, I used the Morphe palette. This is a 350 palette. It's been very much sought after. Everybody and their mothers promotes it whenever it gets restocked to, to use their, <laughs> their promo code. Um, but this is the one that I have. It's actually my sister. She bought it. She loves it. And I was like, let me see, because I wasn't sold. I'm kind of sold. If you guys want to see how I do this look, keep watching. Hey guys, okay, I'm doing another video, and I'm back to my old camera. I just felt that these details are important to see my flaws. All of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. <laughs> so um, I played with the settings a little bit, so hopefully it's a little bit clearer. This is the start of a Morphe series. My sister actually bought the Morphe palette. She was sold. She wanted it, and I was like, Sandy, are you sure? Like, I don't know if they're good. So I'm going to play around with some of these looks. I was so happy that she let me borrow it. She's very, very good at sharing. Unlike me. Um, no, I'm good at sharing. I'm good at I'm going to start off with my eyes. I'm using my better. I'm just using my Fit Me powder. This is, um, I don't know how old it is, but I just want to dust it over my eyes just to add a nice surface so that the colors that I put on top won't skip. Alright, I'm going to start with this color here. This this one's actually really similar, but there's a lot of similar tones in here. Like that one looks the same as that, as that. But um I'll start with one of those really. So I'm gonna use that on my crease. Actually I'm gonna be more using it like an transition color. On the lid, I'm using this color here. It has a very interesting type of, um, where it kind of looks like pink, but on some it looks peach. On the, in the pan it looks peach, but it's actually more of like an iridescent kind of unicorn pink. <laughs> Put that all over my lid. The colors are actually not bad. I was I, I was surprised because I remember buying you know like the Coastal Sense ones and um, yeah pretty much the Coastal Sense and BH Cosmetics ones and I just just remember them not being this pigmented and I had like every color. I had like all their palettes. I'm just bending out the edges. Now I'm gonna take the darkest color in the palette. These they don't have there's no black in it in this palette, but I'm gonna use this guy right here. So I'm just gonna go along my lash line. This is a pretty flimsy brush too. And this is actually a really good technique if you want to practice your liner. It's just like the best way to practice your liner because you can always erase it and then you start to get the hang of how your brush should really move with the liner. So for my foundation, my skin's a little bit dry right now so I kind of need some moisture back in there. I'm using the MAC Face and Body and Fit Me Matte and Poreless. They do opposite things, but the reason also I'm using it is because I like the way this makes my skin look. It looks really like true to skin, and then this guy makes it a little bit more matte. Um, but their colors are off, so this is a little bit too dark on me. This is actually a little too light, but mixed together they actually work really well.
So it still leaves me a little bit dewy like this. Um, sometimes I like that, uh, a lot of times I really hate it. <laughs> but for now I do like it because my skin just feels tight. Otherwise like I'm going to be looking too, too matte and it's going to make my skin look dry and actually very cakey. I'm going to try this guy because I know this has been helping me a little bit. I have some baggage under my eyes so this is the highlighter in yellow, this is the yellow corrector from LA Girl. And I just like using my finger and I literally do like little fingerprints, like hardly any. Um, there's an orange one that a lot of girls my complexion use, but that's just too, it's not bright. And, and I don't need to cancel colors under there. All I need to do is brighten under here. There's also a pink corrector, but that doesn't seem like it's a good match for me and my needs. See, that's just that without it. So it just, it definitely brightened it up. With my regular concealer, this is an LA Girl in a pure beige. It's one of my favorite colors actually for me. Ooh, I have one for Sandy. I have to get it to her. I'm just going to lay it down and then use my beauty blender to pat that on. Make sure you're not rubbing it because all of the stuff that we did underneath that needs to stay in place. And if you rub it too much, it's going to like totally just, it's going to mix in with your concealer and it's kind of kind of ruin what you just did and defeat the purpose of laying it down first. See how much brighter that looks? So I'm taking some translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And what you can do with this powder is just kind of set it in a, little, a few areas where you're going to need to contour. Because same reason why I put my primer on on my eyes and then set it with the powder you don't want your colors to skip on you. So especially with a contour, you don't want that to skip on you. Okay, now here's a time where I can go back and like perfect a little bit more. And you can use more of a precise hand with this. Sorry, it's loud. My AC is going to kick off really soon. I'm going to do curl my lashes, put mascara on, and do my brows. Alright, now that my brows and my top lashes are done, now I'm just going to sharpen my brows and um, I mentioned this in my favorites video that I really like this concealer to do that, although right now I didn't squeeze out all the product when I was applying it on my um, under eyes, so I'm actually going to use this one because it's easier to squeeze out and like wipe away some of that product. This is the L'Oreal True Match. So I'm just using that to... Normally I wouldn't raise my brows, but I didn't want to get any on my lashes. Just makes it so much more crisp. I love the way it looks. Actually, let me... My tail's not looking good. I think I too much there. So that's going to add a really nice base to your brow bone color. For my brow bone color, I'm just going to use the white that's in here. There's like a beige and a white. I'm going to mix them both because I might be too dark for the white. But it's also a good idea to set it because then your brows will look more crisp longer. For my bronzer, I'm using my Hoola. I really like it. It just like lay, like lays on my face so nicely. So I just put a little bit on the perimeters of my face. And then I sweep it on my cheekbones. This is my better side. If you guys ever notice on my Instagram how I'm always posing in one direction, it's not on purpose, I swear. I always pose both and then I always end up picking the one with my better cheekbone. My cheekbones aren't even. And then I always like to do a little bit on my nose. A lot of times, like my like the bridge of my nose gets lost. So you and dip it in the hula. Hula is actually a good one for it. And I just very lightly add some color on there. I'm gonna use the same dark color that I used on my wing underneath my lash line. It's gonna connect it with the lash the wing.
And then with my mascara, I'm going to add that to my bottom lashes. Instead of baking with a powder, I'm actually going to use my um, face like powder foundation. This is an NC40. I like to use this guy because um, it, it just looks a little bit more true tone to my actual skin as opposed to something that might come off too light. Sorry, it's a Puerto Rican fest, so it's going to get rowdy up in, up in these streets. With this Milani blush, I'm going to be using the color... American Beauty Rose. The brush that I like to use with any all of my blushes is the Real Techniques one. Just like buffs it out like when you don't have to really work. For my highlight, I'm using the Physicians Formula Strip. This guy is called Vegas Strip. It's a it's considered a light bronzer, but it's actually not. It's it's definitely a highlighter. Sometimes I don't get when they write bronzer. Like what? For who? For who? So it's just like a really light bronzer. It's like a white gold type. This look is almost done. All it needs is a lipstick. First, and let me just take my powder brush and just kind of wipe away this. Um, okay, the lipstick that I've been really liking lately is the Kate Moss 104. It's one of the Rimmel lipsticks and it's the Kate Moss version. I posted a Snapchat. It's a Snapchat and a few people asked me about this color and I was like, oh, girl, that's just Kate Moss. Rimmel. Just a really pretty like pink. One thing I will say is I don't love the smell of this lipstick, but it just looks so pretty, like it looks very girly and is very pigmented. So that's the finished makeup. I hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna be doing two more of these Morphe looks, but giving you a very different vibe for each one. Hope you guys are into it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!